what's going on guys and gals in this particular video we're going to go over what the aux in remapping the record and the play features are and about a week and a half ago i purchased the tascam cd rw900 mk2 it's a rack mountable cd player uh, which you can uh, also record as well as play it plays uh discs for mp3s and uh, my next unit is going to be a, a Bluetooth receiver, something I can plug into the aux ends, and that's what we're going to be talking about. Now, I want to show you something over here on the X32 Edit, okay? Now, if you'll notice right here on the front of this, you do have input levels to where when you get ready to record in, okay? But there are no output levels set on this as far as an adjustment whatsoever. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what the input levels are coming into the X32 rack. Okay, guys, so here we are in X32 edit. And as you can see right up here, I'm going to try and get a closer. Uh, there we go. You know, I always talk about this negative 18 input. Okay, when you buy professional audio gear, nine times out of ten, it's going to be between that negative 15 and that negative 18 dB range. And we've had this conversation many times before. Uh, I now have a piece of equipment where I can actually back it up in the studio and show you just exactly what the input levels are. Now, as you can see, everything here is set to Unity. And there we go. Here is our, uh, as you can see, the, the high points of it coming in. And it's hitting real close to that negative 18. And it doesn't matter what you use, guys. It doesn't matter what you set up. Your input should be at a negative 18. Okay, so let's go ahead and go over to Routing. And here we have our aux in remaps. Now, what I'm telling the X32 to do right now is to record anything that comes into my aux ends. Okay? If I change this, you're going to see that input signal right here disappear. Okay? Watch. Gone. Okay? Now, if you have them both set on aux ends, you will not see a difference between record and play. Okay, but if you put it over on record, now I'm going to go over to my, uh, up here on the routing, I'm going to go over to my card. As you can see, it's just the standard uh, 8, uh, 18916, 18916, all the way over here. Okay, this is the out. AES50, uh, this over here, uh, we've got another question up there about the P16s, and I believe it's because they had their routing set like this, and they need to put it back over here. Uh, where it goes because here as you can see where it's sending it to the alternate Okay, so the XLRs it's one through eight uh, here. I've not done anything with the buses I'm not using the user ins or the users out Okay, so now let's just go ahead and jump over to Reaper now remember everything is set to zero zero and zero So let's check out Reaper. and Let's see how Reaper is receiving this signal. Okay guys here. We are in Reaper now I've got everything armed to record I'm going to come up here and just select all and disarm them. And then I'm going to arm channels 15 and 16 again. Uh, let me see. Sorry about that. I got to click off of this. And there's our two channels coming in. And as you can see right up there, when it hits that bump, it is up there just about on a dead negative 18. Okay. So we really shouldn't be having this discussion anymore. Okay, so that's what that is. So let's go back over and I want to point out one more thing. And you'll see in Reaper, it's going to show the same thing. If I take something else to record, that is not going to come into my doll. Now, I've got it set up right now for just the X32. I have another uh, template up here with my x32 rack along with my s16 digital snake to where i have the 32 inputs to come across uh, i don't need that for this video so i'm going to show you two things that i've done so over here on our record guys this is our live in uh or our, our live sd recorders you can see the usb interface i've simply got 16 in and 16 out okay so uh it, it just takes up less space on your card it gives me a longer recording time Okay, so let's go back over to routing. Let's go back over to inputs. 
now here's the aux in again if i change it you're going to see the signal disappear and let's let's check in reaper now and see what reaper says and there we go okay we've got no input signal whatsoever if i wanted to play back as you can see now when i hit play because i am on the same thing here my aux ends i'm playing them okay even when i click on record here you'll see the signal go away because I've got two different things now. I've got the local one and two, and I've got the aux ends. So when I click play, let's go back and check Reaper one more time. And there we go. Okay, the song is getting ready to wind down. Let's give it a second or two. It's going to pick back up. Now, guys, when I talk about this uh, CD recorder, it doesn't matter whether I'm playing Taylor Swift, uh, Elvis Presley, uh, Pink Floyd, Motley Crue. It doesn't matter. My input signal is still around that negative 18. Okay, and that's it, guys. And that's what the two features are concerning the auxiliary in remapping feature. All right, take care, God bless, and we are out of here.